Hi, I'm Mason Rothman here with Project Geo, and uh, today we're here at the uh, Human Geo booth, and uh, we're talking to... I'm Danny Holloway. I'm a technologist with the Human Geo Group. Okay, so uh, is this your first time at uh, GeoEnt? This is my first time. Uh, we were here last year, and we're excited to come back next year. Okay, so uh, tell me a little bit about Human Geo and what it is exactly you guys do. Sure. We're uh, software engineers by trade. Uh, come out of the special operations community, a lot of background there. And uh, we build tools and analytics uh, to provide insight into the open web, social media, and things of that nature. Okay, so which uh, social media sites do you mine, or which websites, et cetera, do you mine? Sure. Uh, the biggest ones that we're pulling information from are Facebook and Twitter. Uh, we also go across all the blogs, news, um, and anything that we could target uh, for specific needs. Okay, so is this just like keyword search, geolocation search, what is it? Um, it's a combination, a hybrid approach. So we've got our keyword matching capability to go across, um, as well as geospatial bounding boxes when the information is geocoded. Okay, so for your software, et cetera, do you use uh, Google Maps, or do you guys have your own thing? What do you do exactly? Uh, we try to maintain uh, some level of agnosticity, so we can bring in any sort of tiles. You can bring your own maps. Uh, we've got the ability to build maps, um, so we can actually deploy our solutions anywhere, uh, regardless of whether or not you can connect to a WMS over the Internet, or you, you bring your own tiles. Okay, so what kind of hardware are we talking that, that you need to run uh, you guys, your guys' uh, specific uh, software? Sure. Um, so a lot of it runs on um, commodity hardware, uh, and we leverage that through horizontal scalability. So as the data increases, it's just a matter of building more nodes into your infrastructure. Okay, and uh, what, year were, uh, what, what year did you guys start, and how long have you guys been doing this for? Uh, we've been around for just over a year. Uh, quickly grown from about five people to, to 20 and looking to expand beyond that. Wow, that's uh, that's pretty impressive. And did you guys, as a startup, were, was, it, was it a venture capital thing or what happened exactly? Uh, no, we're a bootstrapped organization, so it's all held privately and uh, haven't taken an outside in, any outside investment. So where did you come from before uh, you started working from Human Geo? Um, I've always done a lot of work in the federal space, so I've, I've worked for another uh, large software integrator and, and done projects along those lines. Okay, so where are you guys based out of? Uh, we've got a New York office and an Arlington office uh, just outside of Washington, D.C. Okay, so plans for uh, expansion and growth in the future? Sure. I think one of the big areas of interest right now is foreign language capabilities. Um, so we're, we're looking to grow our capabilities outside of the English language for sentiment detection and things of that nature. Okay, and then uh, other conferences, et cetera. Do you guys attend any other conferences? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we regularly run our own meetup group and go to conferences, uh, particularly around the technologies that we build our solutions on and actively contribute in the open source community, so it's a lot of software-based stuff. Okay, so this is the last day of GeoEnt today. Uh, any estimate on how many uh, how many people you've spoke to, how many interests you've had here? You know, or is, is it just in the thousands at this point? Um, it is a bit of a blur, uh, but we've spoken to a couple of key people and made some great connections. Um, we were briefing uh, General Fogarty yesterday and had a, a very interesting conversation with him. And we were also talking with uh, Sir Stuart Peach from the uh, UK uh, Royal Air Force. Excellent, excellent. Um, so are your primary customer is the government, but do you guys also plan on marketing or do you market to, you know, maybe big oil companies or somebody else that might be interested in this uh, this uh, type of software? Absolutely. The, uh, the open source information is quickly get, gaining a lot of traction. I think that we're ahead of the curve and we're uh, actively working a number of commercial ventures uh, in support of security, threat monitoring, things of that nature and um, open to keep growing those avenues. Okay, excellent, excellent. Any other key points you want to hit on or anything that I, I sh we, we should know about Human Geo that, uh, that we've missed? Uh, I just think that um, it's, it's very interesting. There's a lot of information out there. We've got some great tools, and we're excited to see where it goes from here. Come back to uh, GeoInt next year and see what, what we can bring to the table. So we'll see you in Tampa then, huh? Absolutely. We'll be there. Excellent, excellent. Well, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up. This has uh, been Mason Rothman for Project Geo. See you soon.